welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So as you saw from the thumbnail, I bought myself a lemon. So right now, I'm just on the way back from picking up a new engine, which is there in the trunk of my lovely new BMW. Well, quite old BMW, but still lovely. Um, so yeah, I will take you back to a few days ago when I got myself an eBay bargain VFR 800. So, the day that the bike arrived coincided with the day my wife and daughter went back to Japan. Not a coincidence. Uh, so yeah, my family don't want me to get a bike again, but that's never gonna happen. So, anyway, bike turned up. Um, I bought it as a sort of non-runner bike with issues. Uh, so I knew I had um, a bit of work to do on it, but anyway, I got it into the garage started taking it apart, fiddling about with things, and I found it uh, traced a problem to a uh, split vacuum hose um, from the throttle bodies and the map sensor, the hose had come off the map sensor. So replace one hose, plug the map sensor back in, and she fired up and ran like a dream, as you can see. Fallen off, and now it runs properly. <laughs> Job. However, on the test ride, I couldn't find third gear. There's no third gear. Fuck. So the bike would go first, second, fourth. So again put it back in the garage got it up on the side stand cycled cycled the wheel over by hand while changing gear in my other hand and yeah no third gear so yeah i had a bit of a think and sort of what it could have what it could be like a selector fork or it could be the the gear is just just gone um had a bit of reading online and it's a pretty rare problem but pretty sure that the third gear is just sitting in the bottom of the the sump so didn't want to risk riding it anymore just in case another gear went or the engine seized or whatever and to repair the engine will cost a fortune have to split the cases obviously probably take the heads off so in the end this engine here was the cheaper option used engine for 200 pounds and I kind of complained to the guy that I got the bike from and he agreed to uh, send me 200 pounds back, like a sort of small refund. So yeah, I'm on my way back to the house now, so I'll see you when we get there. Alright, so this is how the bike sits now. So yesterday this was a fully uh, fared bike. Um, it was all working fine except for the gearbox issue. So basically my plan is get the old engine out, um, which is a bit of a drama because I haven't got any tools yet because all my tools are still on the way to England from Japan in a shipping container probably. So it's been two months already, but they said up to three months. Anyway, once, while I'm waiting for all the stuff to arrive, I can just get on with cleaning up the engine. So I like all the, the corrosion there, um, get rid of all the oils, oil stains and the previous drips and stuff like that, and uh, make it nice looking. Because my plan is, so as you guys know, it's a VFR, four, uh, VFR 800, but it's quite a nice looking unit. Like the frame, I quite like the design of the frame. Obviously it's a single sided swing arm, so that looks cool. The wheels have been painted black. It's got a full Scorpion exhaust system, which is headers as well. I'm kind of tempted to turn this into a Street Fighter. So when I was stripping all the fairings off yet last night, so there's the, the front nose cone the seat unit, the other fairings, like the rear seat cover, screen, seat. While I was stripping it all off and I had it here in its current naked state, I was kind of thinking, this is a cool bike. 
design wise you know, if all it needed all it would need is a nice short rear subframe with a small maybe a single seat on it the tank itself is a nice design as well I kind of like the tank so I was thinking tidy up the wiring loom make it all sort of tucked and hidden get rid of the stuff that I don't need maybe get a custom seat subframe made up and uh, yeah just put a a single round headlight on it maybe some flat bars some straight bars like some rentals on there and it would be a pretty cool machine but uh, yeah that's uh, kind of a pipe dream but I am kind of considering it all right guys so that's just an update on this lemon should we call it that project lemon street fighter or not VFR 800 all right guys I will keep you updated but I'll see you in the next video ciao Barney, what do you think? Oh. Not chow. Wait one second. I want to ask you guys to help me decide whether I should street fire this bike or not. So, like I said, what I am thinking is Renthal bars, short seat on the back, single round headlight, tidy the wiring, maybe put a front mount radiator rather than the two side ones. And yeah, something like that. So I'm gonna put some example pictures up on the screen now. So I want you guys to kind of vote or give me your comments down below anyway. Write something down below and let me know, should I Street Fighter it or should I put it back to its original condition? All right, now it really is ciao, ciao.